Hey everybody, Dr. John here. In this video, we are gonna discuss the different types of stroke and some of the pathology and pathophysiology of how these strokes occur. Ischemic strokes are when blood flow does not arrive at the brain and the brain is starved of oxygen. There are two general categories of ischemic stroke, thrombotic and embolic. Hemorrhagic strokes occur when there is a blood leak out of a certain portion of an artery, and instead of the blood continuing to flow down the artery as it is supposed to, it leaks out and causes damage at the site of the leak, as well as downstream because the blood does not get delivered where it's supposed to go. Ischemic strokes can be divided into both thrombotic and embolic strokes. In a thrombotic stroke, a plaque builds in an artery just like a clog in a pipe. Over time, that plaque builds up and starts to occlude more and more of that artery until eventually enough blood flow is not able to occur and a part of the brain doesn't get its blood. In the thrombotic type, the plaque or other obstruction is developing directly at that site. Whereas in embolic stroke, a plaque or thrombus or some type of obstruction develops elsewhere in the body and then travels downstream until it eventually reaches a part of the artery in the brain, which is too small to continue to travel, and then it forms an obstruction there. Embolic strokes often occur as a result of atrial fibrillation in the heart blood clot forms and is sent up to the brain. We can discuss that in another video. In the ischemic stroke, the damage is going to occur where the brain is supposed to be getting oxygen, but it doesn't get the blood flow. In a hemorrhagic stroke, there is a leak in an artery. Because that artery leaks, blood begins to flow out at that site and two major things occur. Blood does not get sufficiently delivered to a certain location of the brain. Simultaneously, as the blood leaks out of the side of an artery, it begins to pool in a part of the brain that is not supposed to have blood accumulating. And this can cause damage at that site of the brain. In the next video, we will discuss stroke presentation and initial management.